Hi, welcome back to my channel today. Ooh, they got some big, pretty hibiscus flowers in their backyard. I want one. What the freak? I want a hibiscus. Anyway, hi, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Today, I want to go book shopping. I want to go book shopping. I haven't gone book shopping since like, I don't even know, at like the end of 2020 or like the very beginning of 2021. I really don't remember, but it's been a minute, okay? This week is my birthday week. So that's like how I'm justifying it. Spending money that I don't really need to be spending, you know how that goes. I don't really have anything specific that I'm looking for. I just want to go. I just want to go and browse. So I thought it would be fun if I like did a little cute uh, come book shopping with me moment. You know what I mean? Like a like a book shopping vlog. And then after that, I'm going to do a little book haul to show what I bought. I really only buy used books. I don't shop at Barnes & Noble. I like going to Barnes & Noble because the vibes, but I don't buy anything there. <laughs> It's just really expensive. Like, it's just Barnes & Noble prices, goodbye. So I am going to go to at least two used bookstores, and then I might go to, like, a thrift store and look at some books there, maybe, depending on what time it is. But for sure, I am going to go to two used bookstores that I have in the area. Really excited. Really excited. I haven't been there in a little bit, so. I feel like every time I go to like a used bookstore with like a list in mind, I never find anything that's on that list. Like all the books that I'm looking for, I don't ever find them. So that's probably gonna happen today. The only thing that I'm like, okay, I want to look for these books, maybe they'll have them, are the Heartstopper books by Alice Oseman because that's being adapted into a show and you know that I just have to read them now. I haven't read them and I heard that they're just a really good time and they're just like serotonin in book form. So that sounds fun. So if I can find those, that'd be awesome. But yeah, that's probably the only book or whatever that I specifically have in my brain that's like, look for this, you know, look for that book. Other than that, I'm just gonna browse. And if something catches my eye, I just might get it. So yeah. Let's go to the bookstore. The amount of copies of The Great Gatsby is, it's so funny. Oh my gosh. I see this book here every time I'm here and I don't, oh my God, I can't get it out. And I, I don't understand. Like, is, has anybody read this? Like I've never seen this anywhere other than here. So has anyone read this? And if so, um, can you tell me if it's good? Nicholas Sparks dedicated section is <laughs> three shelves genuinely one of the worst books i've ever read in my life y'all i am literally so sad i didn't find anything i wanted at this bookstore i also just learned like five seconds ago that the other used bookstore that i was going to go to literally closes in like 10 minutes so i will not be going there um so i think i'm just going to bite the bullet and go to barnes and noble because i want to buy something okay i want to buy something <laughs> i want books but to be fair though at that other used bookstore i honestly like 
never really find anything I want either. It's usually just I go in, don't find anything, and leave, which is kind of what happened here today. I'm so disappointed. I usually find at least one thing that I want at the store, and I didn't, so that was really sad, but I'm gonna go to Barnes & Noble. I am assuming that they're gonna have Heartstopper there, so I think that I'll just go ahead and get it there because I honestly don't think that I would have any luck finding that at a used store anyway. But because I can't go to the other used bookstore because they close in like 10 minutes, I actually think I am gonna go try and find a thrift store and see what kind of books they have there. So yes, I am now going to go to Barnes & Noble. Luckily, Barnes & Noble is literally right down the street from here. So yeah, let's go to Barnes & Noble. <laughs> haul time like i said earlier i didn't find anything at the used bookstore but i also didn't find anything at goodwill so that was really disappointing i usually really don't like buying books new but i did that today and not only did i buy books new i bought them at barnes and noble so regardless i did it so i got three books first and foremost i got the book that was on my radar i got heartstopper Volume 1 by Alice Oseman. I know that this is a romance, it's gay, and just about everybody has given it five stars, so. I don't know, I'm really excited to read this. I feel like I could just like breeze through this and like, I don't even fucking know how long, but definitely less than a day. And I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna have fun with it. I'm excited. I haven't read a graphic novel in like a really long time, so. This will be kind of, kind of fun for me. And then I picked up The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. I actually was just perusing the shelves and some lady looked at me and was like, do you like verse novels? And this was like the first time anybody, like any stranger in a bookstore has ever approached me to like ask me about a book or something or talk about a book or recommend a book. I've never had that experience in my life before until today. And she goes, do you like verse novels? And it caught me off guard. And I was like, sure, <laughs> I guess. And she was like, well, this author's great. You should read her books. And then I saw she was talking about this one and I was like, hey, that's on my TBR. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it now. Thank you, lady, for reminding me that I want to read this book. I don't really know too much about like the specifics about the plot of this book. I've, I mean, I've heard people like say a synopsis of this book a few times in videos, but I always forget it because that's just what happens. But roughly from what I remember is a girl starts getting into like slam poetry and something about her mom being super religious or something. I don't I don't know, that's my really terrible summary. You know, I have to put it out there every single time. Sparknotes, hire me. Sponsor me. Sparknotes, sponsor me challenge. But yeah, I'm really excited to read this one too. I feel like I could definitely get through this really quickly as well because it is written in verse. I don't know. I've only heard good things about this book. I don't think I've heard one negative thing about this book, so I'm really excited to read this one. And then... I just had to, okay? I just had to. It was there, and I was there. For those that don't know, Little Women by Louisa May Alcott is my favorite book of all time. Every time I think about this book for too long, I almost reread it. And since it's my favorite book, I suffer from wanting to purchase every edition of the book that is printed. So I have four right now. Well, I guess like kind of four. One of them I feel like doesn't really count too much. One of the editions that I have belonged to my mom when she was like really young and it's this thin. It's like the super abridged version for like itty bitty children. So, I mean, it's still an edition of the story, but it's not the whole story. But then I have three other editions that are 
the complete story and now I have this one. So this makes four editions of the complete story and five editions in total. I just realized I didn't even like mention why or like like why I got this edition or like what this edition is. This is the edition from the new movie, like the new adaptation that came out for Little Women and like I don't know, like 2019 or something. When she writes Little Women, like she writes the book, this is what it looked like. Like in the movie when her book is printed, it's this. So they made an edition that looks like her book in the movie. And I was like, I want one, but I never bought it. And then I saw it today and I was like, buying it now. So no one can stop me. So those are the books that I got today. I am still pretty disappointed that I didn't find anything at the used bookstore, but it's okay. I did get three books that I'm very excited about. Don't know when I'll be going book shopping again. Probably not anytime soon. But it did feel really nice going to a bookstore after like not being inside of one for like five months. So yeah, that concludes my book haul. Let me know if you've read any of the books that I talked about today. Let me know if you bought any books recently. I would love to know. And yeah, that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!